Alright, listen. Okay, listen, um, okay, we're gonna go ahead and make a pound cake, but it's gonna be like a carrot pound cake, and we're gonna use all those carrots that you guys are cutting up. And this is our stand mixer, this is a typical five quart stand mixer, and it comes with three basic tasks. It has more, but these are the ones we'll use in the class. Cattle, which you use to bake cakes, or if you're gonna make cookies. Come with a white whip. Anytime we're whipping it, eggs, uh, cream, um, heavy cream, that kind of thing will make whipped cream when it comes to the dough. And we're going to make bread. We don't need these bread. We're going to go ahead and make a, um, a pound cake. And what kind of method are we going to start? What, what's the method we're going to use? Cream. Cream. Yeah. What does that mean? Oh, sugar and sugar, butter, 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 and make butter. Sugar and butter. Sugar and butter, and you mix those two first. You have a butter here that's just at room temperature. Now, if you come home one day and decide to make a cake, and your, your butter's in the refrigerator, don't get upset with me because, oh my God, I can't make this cake because it's in that room temperature. You can put it in the mixer, turn it on high, and speed it up, and it'll soften it up. Then you throw your sugar in there afterwards. Well, my butter's been sitting out here, so it should be fine. You want to go ahead and stick your flour. For a couple of reasons. When flour is milled, it doesn't get everything. So you might see some little particles inside the flour. It's not going to hurt you, but those things will be stuck in the cake. And then you have these little lumps. See these little lumps? You want to get those out. Make the cake a little airy. Get that out the way. Also, your baking powder, your baking soda, get that in there too. Why are we using both? We talked about that. Why are we using baking powder and baking soda? Because you're using the sour cream. Because you're using the sour cream. Anytime you're using anything with acid, you use both butter. I mean, excuse me, you use both um, baking. You can use baking soda and baking powder. So, what do you want to get in here first? Butter and sugar. Butter and sugar. See? Put your butter in there. Get your sugar in there. Starting on low, move it up a little. You want to let that go and let it cream together. Yeah. <laughs> See that? What's the model? It's perfect. Let me go ahead and put it in there before she lay it hitting my head or something. You see that? So nice and creamy together, right? Cheese and water? You want to bake one day? That's it. What's going to go in here next? Eggs. 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 Hey, you got to send the crack these eggs over to me? You got to stand right there, send the crack eggs over? That's that gum, man. Now you want to just let crack the egg, right? How are we going to install these eggs? One at a time. One at a time. You just go ahead and tip it over. These eggs know when to come out. But not like all three of them will come out at the same time. Right? Turn that oven on to 350. You find out if you're going to be like F. Gary Gray or somebody. Direct the video. See how it's breaking apart? See how the dough is going in and breaking apart because it's acid in those eggs. What are we going to get in there next? We're done with it. What? Liquid. Liquid. Yeah. This is not a liquid, but this falls in that same category. We're going to get our sour cream in there. <laughs> yeah, you want to taste it? Give me some more sour cream in there. What do you want to did you wash your fingers? Yeah. Why are you? It tastes bad, right? Butter. You're going to use that at the end. Coming up. What goes in next? Dry ingredients. Huh? Dry ingredients. Dry ingredients. But what are we going to put in here first? Carrots. Carrots. Carrots.
Get that working. See that? Now we want to get our dry ingredients in there. It's already been sifted. You don't have to worry. Are you guys back there listening? I hear a conversation. Are you talking about the stuff? You always want to get your areas nice and clean so that you don't have a bunch of mess going on. Make sure you're careful when you turn it on at this point because flour will be all over the place. Can you do me a favor and pass me one of those sheets up there? You guys wouldn't do this, but I would give you some um, plastic to do it with just in case. You want to cover it so that it doesn't jump all over the place. Sometimes it'll just pop all over the place. You don't want that. There you go. See? You don't want to over mix. Hold on a minute. Scrape your sides. You want to get all these ingredients in there. Why? Why do you want to get all the ingredients in there? What is uh, baking? It's an exact sign. You want to get all of your ingredients in there. You don't want to miss anything. Give it another little twirl and you're done. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to go ahead and get your baking pan ready. This is a standard uh, Aiden's pan. Get some butter in here. Get a little bit of flour in here. Do everything to prevent the thing from sticking in the pan. Do all this work. Get your cake going. Next thing you know, it's sticking in the pan. You don't want that. And just toss the rest of that flour out. Get your little parchment circle in there. Another preventative way to prevent it from sticking. Everything inside your baking tip. Give it a little tap. You want to set everything together. Spread it all out, get an oven, and that's that. Now, how difficult did that look? Don't give me this, oh, I'm only 16, 17, I can't do that. Oh, you're 18? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm 15. Get another one. <laughs> anyway, put it in there for 40 to 45 minutes. So we check it. I would check it out for 30 minutes. Sometimes your oven may not be calibrated, and you don't want to just rely on it. So I'll just check in about 30 minutes. Not done to give me another 15 minutes. It should be done. Take a little toothpick, stick it in there. Done. So open our oven. Give it a three uh fifth big. Okay, I'll put it in. And that's that. You guys clean this up for me. Appreciate it. Nice. Is that recording?